solo corporation is evaluating a project with the following cash flows year 0 initial investment 47000 then four years are positive cash flows and in the last year there is 9500 outflows the company uses an interest rate of 10 percent on all it of its projects calculate the mirr of the project using all three methods the mirr of the project with r3 approaches is discounting approach in the discounting approach we find the value of all cash outflows at time zero while any cash inflows remains at the time at which they occur so discounting the cash outflows at time zero we find cash flows 47000 initial investment minus 9500 cash outflow at the end of the product divided by 1.10 raised to power 5 and the answer is minus 52898.5 so the MIRR using the discounting approach is equal to 0 minus equal to minus 52,898.8 plus 16,900 divided by 1 plus MIR raised to power 1 plus 20,300 divided by 1 plus m i r r raised to power 2 plus 25,800 divided by 1 plus m i r r raised to power 3 plus 19,600 divided by 1 plus m i r r raised to power 4 at 12 percent the present value is 56701.85 whereas at and at 18 percent the present value is 50560.78 that is il present value l i h present value h and 52898.8 will be present value actual so mirr of this project is equal to 15.5 percent this is the first approach to calculate the mirr by using the discounting approach the second approach to calculate the mirr is reinvestment approach in reinvestment approach, we find the future values of all cash flows except the initial cash flows at the end of the product. So, reinvesting the cash flows at time 5, we find time 5 cash flows, time 5 cash flows 16,900 into 1.11 raised to power 4 plus 20,300 divided by 1 point into 1.11 1 raised to power 3 plus 25,800 into 1.11 1 raised to power 2 plus 16,900 into 1.11 1 raised to power 1 minus 9500 so the final amount is 95000 40.59 so the mir is 47000 that is initial investment plus 95000 40.59 divided by 1 plus m IR raised to power 5 that is equal to 9,50,040.59 divided by 47,000 is equal to 1 plus m IRR 
raised to power 5 and the answer of MIRR is equal to 15.123 percent. So that's the reinvestment approach or a reinvestment approach and our MIRR is 15.123 percent. The next approach is combination approach. In this approach, we find the value of all cash outflows at time zero and the value of all cash inflows at the end of the project. So the value of cash flows is time zero cash flows. We have already computed in the first approach that was 52,989.8 and cash flow at fifth and time five cash flow is equal to 16,900 into 1.11 raised to power 4 plus 20,300 into 1.11 raised to power 3 plus 25,800 into 1.11 raised to power 2 plus 16,900 into 1.11 raised to power 1 that is equal to 1 lakh 4540.6 so MIRR is equal to 5052980 that is minus plus 1 lakh 4540.6 divided by 1 plus MIRR raised to power 5 and by solving this 1 lakh 4540.6 divided by 52,898.8 is equal to 1 plus MIRR raised to power 5 and the answer is 14.59 percent so by using discounting approach the MIRR is 15.5 percent by using the reinvestment approach the MIRR is equal to 15.123 percent and by using the combination of approach the MIRR is equal to 14.95 percent